Dear South African criminal, you are officially on notice. Hey everybody, it's Big Daddy Liberty here. Um, just a quick uh, vlog for you guys. I'm just editing some episodes of the Big Liberty Show. Look forward to that this week. But I came across um, this article, which is on uh, one of the news uh, sites at the moment. And, um, you know, the, the heading is Armed Homeowners Kill Four Assailants. And it basically tra tracks two events. Um, uh, happening in a short space between each other. Uh, on Saturday this week, uh, last week at least, a Linwood man in Pretoria, that is, shot and killed two men um, at his property, presumably during what was a robbery. Now, it goes on to the full story um, in the news article, and you can uh, read that um, to see what it's all about. But essentially, you know, um, guy pulls his gun to defend his family during an armed robbery and kills two of the assailants um, who had threatened his family. In another incident in Middleburg, which is in Mpumalanga, um, you know, a, 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 an armed self-defender shot and killed two suspects. So he was being robbed by four people all in all, by the sounds of it. And he c killed two suspects and injured another two. Um, who have subsequently been uh, obviously caught and apprehended by the police. Look, I I'm not one to celebrate death um, and people dying, um, but I'm definitely one to give kudos to ordinary South Africans beginning to defend themselves. And I think we're all pretty sick and tired of the rampant crime and essentially a police force in this country that has pretty much admitted that it, it, it can't fulfill its entire mandate. Um, it cannot fulfill its mandate, if you will, to protect citizens, whether you live in Elokshini, in the Cape Flats, where they've been, um, as you'd know, you know, the, the very bloody weekend, and I think 11 people murdered in various townships, Philippi East being the, the sort of main one. Um, to your leafy suburbs where, you know, people have barricaded themselves and live in prisons, essentially, luxurious prisons because of the burglar bars and the electric fencing, the high walls. I mean, I have neighbours in my neighbourhood where, where I stay here in Johannesburg. Um, uh, it seems a lot of the construction work is just the raising of walls, you know, from a three metre wall to suddenly it being a six metre wall with barbed wire, with... Um, electric fencing with a security camera. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I was in Germany recently and I was telling some of them German, German folk um, that we live this way and they were just like shocked. They're like, well, that sounds like a prison, they would say, but it's true. Um, but to see South Africans arming themselves um, and seeking to protect themselves, their life, their liberty and their property and their families, really, um, I, I'm not one to um, talk down on that or criticize that. Absolutely. Every South African individual should be doing anything and everything within their power to protect themselves, especially when the state essentially admits that it can't do, it can't play that function, which actually is their function. You know, the, the state is supposed to be able to protect us from foreign aggression, number one, uh, domestic threats, i.e. criminals who seek to uh, take our property and our lives. And of course, to arbitrate our disputes through a, ju a judiciary. Um, if the state, for whatever reason, is not playing any of those functions, then absolutely the individual, the family should take that um, responsibility and take charge of their own personal safety and should people should become, and I encourage people becoming self-defenders, uh, you know, seek organizations that are well versed on the laws around this and also <clears throat> which provide training, on, ongoing training and there's various organizations, I mean I'll say one because I have a good relationship with them, it's gun owners of South Africa, those guys. <laughs> if there is a rising trend of people becoming their own self-defenders, their own first responders, then kudos to you people who are doing this because at the end of the day, um, you're responsible for you and you're responsible for your family's safety. And if the state, as I said, doesn't want to play that role, then it's up to you. So as I said when I began this video, um, criminals beware because I don't think people are happy being victims anymore. And who knows, you try and rob someone, you try and kill someone, it actually might be you taking the room temperature challenge. Guys, thanks for watching. Just a quick vlog for you guys. Enjoy the rest of the week.